Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you are new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So in recent years, I would say that Deontay Wilder vs. Dillian White has been one of the more sought after and most anticipated fights in the heavyweight division. And today, WBC president Maurizio Suleiman has actually come out and embraced this potential fight. Suleiman was actually asked about the fight uh, by Sky Sports and he responded by saying, yes, absolutely, yes, I like the idea. Of course the rankings are by merit. We'll see what happens on March 27th. If White wins, then he becomes the interim champion. He would be in a very privileged position and it's just a good time for boxing. Those are the words of Maurizio Suleiman, and Eddie Hearn also told Sky Sports, I love the Deontay Wilder fight. Wilder against White is a fight we've talked about for a long time. Dillian White called for that fight about three years ago, and all of a sudden Deontay Wilder lost, now he's calling for the Dillian White fight. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn. So it appears that the WBC have given a green light of some description to Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White, and as for Eddie Hearn, he's shown interest in this fight for quite some time. Joshua and Fury are tied up, and in the meantime he needs to get Dillian big fights, and should he beat Povetkin, the biggest fight arguably would be Deontay Wilder. So it seems like more than one party is interested in making this fight, and that is great, um, because let's be honest, no matter how you feel about Dillian White or Deontay Wilder, you put those two guys in the ring, and somebody's getting laid out. Both guys are technically flawed but they are genuine punchers in the heavyweight division, and I'm sure if you put those two guys together, that will make the fireworks. I really do believe that, and it's 99% likely that somebody's getting knocked out in that fight. I think the fight makes a lot of sense for both parties. Of course, Dillian White has a real hard fight against Alexander Povetkin. He obviously got knocked out first time around, so that's not a guarantee, but should he win that fight against Povetkin? then that Deontay Wilder fight to me is very appealing. And as for Deontay Wilder, listen, Deontay Wilder has embarrassed himself in the past 12 months. He needs to get back on the horse and start fighting again to at least go some way in rebuilding his reputation to some extent, you know? And I think a lot of these heavyweights, they can't afford to wait around and wait for Undisputed to happen and hopefully, and just be in hope that they get a call to fight the winner. You know, these guys need to make noise um, while Joshua and Fury are tied up. The likes of a Deontay Wilder or Andy Ruiz can't fight a couple of bums and then stick their hand up demanding a shot at the title. No, these guys need to take these risky fights in the interim while Joshua and Fury are tied up to put themselves in the best position to get a title shot at the winner. You know, if Dillian White knocked out a Deontay Wilder, that's a big statement, and vice versa. If Wilder were to come back and knock out Dillian White, he puts his name back at the top again amongst the top contenders. You know, Andy Ruiz, another guy, maybe Ruiz versus White, Ruiz versus Wilder. These are the sort of fights these guys should be taking while Joshua and Fury are tied up. It looks like Alexander Yusek is fighting Joe Joyce. He's doing his bit by looks of it, and these other guys need to follow suit. They can't afford to waste time and fight sea level competition and just be in hope that they get the call to fight the Fury Joshua winner. All of these guys right now should be scrambling to get themselves in the best position possible to get a shot at the winner at some point. And fights like Wilder vs White, uh, Wilder vs Ruiz, Ruiz vs White, these are the sort of fights that would put the winner in a great position to basically fight the winner of Joshua and Fury. There's no point Deontay Wilder fighting three C-level guys, it proves nothing and it doesn't really do anything for his reputation. Fair enough, if he wants one tune-up, that's cool, but after that, he needs to be looking at the likes of Adillian White and Andy Ruiz. These are the sort of fights that can go some way in rebuilding his reputation, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, listen, White versus Wilder is a fight I've always wanted to see. Just stylistically, I think it'll be so fun. I think somebody gets knocked out. And yeah, the, the build-up to it as well would be exceptionally entertaining. The way those guys talk, you know, there, there's been beef in the past. They genuinely don't like each other. As IFL would say, raw beef. I love that fight between Deontay Wilder and Dillian White. It's been in the making for quite some time. There's a bit of a storyline there. Stylistically, it should be a violent fight. And um, 
that would draw some real, real attention in both America and the UK. So to me, it makes a lot of sense, providing Dillian gets past Povetkin. But yeah, what do you make of this news, I guess, from the WBC, from Suleiman, putting the green light on Wilder White? Do you believe it's possible or not? Me personally, I think it's a pipe dream. I don't think this fight will happen, to be honest. I think Wilder's going to fight a couple of tune-ups and basically wait in the wings, hoping he gets a big fight against like Joshua or Fury. That's what I think Wilder's going to do, but we shall see. Um, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this one? Peace.